Hello everybody, this is uh, JT's Reviews here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Roku LT Streaming Player. Now, I recently unboxed this on my unboxing channel, and if you want to see that, there'll be an unboxing link below to that video. Um, when it says uh, there's a ton of entertainment in this box, they are not kidding. And uh, yeah, it's really good. Um, I've got to say, I've had this for near a week now, about seven days, and um, I've enjoyed it so far um, so basically this is the unit um, it's a tiny little thing as you can see it is absolutely tiny let's compare it to an old Nokia and you'll see the size comparison absolutely amazing now remember this is the 720p model you can get the 1080p model and get other things and if you're wondering if it does YouTube now it now does YouTube um, a bit glitchy, but it works. It's fantastic. Um, on the back here, you've got your power. Uh, you've got your AV out, which I'm still using. I'm still waiting to get a, a, a HDMI television. Um, uh, but remember, if you do use HDMI, uh, it only works for 720p. Just said so. And the power, um, you get a power lead with it, uh, which I'm still using until I can get my USB power lead for it. So I'm waiting for that to come in the post. But, this is a great little unit. It is very tiny, as you can see. Uh, there's a little indicator light on here to indicate your remote and to indicate that it's on. Um, it hardly uses any power. It's so amazing. Um, it uses 5 volts and that's near nothing. Now, this is the remote that comes with the uh, Roku LT. Um, I don't know what model mine is. I'll put it on the screen of what the model is. I think I've got the 2.8 something model, if I remember. But I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, this is the remote. Uh, some have a Netflix button, a crackle button and all that. I'm glad they got rid of that um, on this one. Because I will never use the the, the buttons because they're a bit overkill. That's what the uh, menus and the update is for. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's a really good device. I really like it. Um, it's nice and tiny. It's not in the way. It blends in with my black equipment, which I don't normally say. And I'm glad I didn't get the um, Roku 1 or 3. Because if I got the Roku 1 or 3... It would have been overkill for my price tag and it would have been overkill anyway because I already have a YouTube app on this thing anyway. Yes, you could play games on number three, but I don't play games and number one, well, basically I'd be wasting an extra 20 quid for it. So one thing I would criticise about it is the box is not great. Uh, it could be a little bit better, but I think they've changed it. Uh, oh, here we are. The model I've got is 2400EU. There you go. I don't need to edit that in. So yeah, basically it's really, really cool. Um, I absolutely love it. Uh, it's the best device I've ever bought for 30 quid that's lasted greatly for what I need it. Now, the best thing about the Roku LT is that it's still supporting it. Uh, I got an update and it works really well. I like it very much. Oh, another thing I like about the Roku LT and Roku 1 and 2 is they still give you AV support which is excellent. What's excellent about the LT is you can still use HDMI but you've got to be aware that uh, the HDMI port's only 720p which is what I've got to say to you guys. If you want to use the Roku LT it's recommended to use it on a smaller uh, TV that doesn't matter about the high definition. You, some, ta some small TVs today only have HD ready which means 720p but if you want the full uh, uh, the full HDMI experience, get the Roku One and uh, put it on a bigger TV, obviously. But yeah, I would give this uh, five stars. Um, I would give it about 10 out of 10 because for the price and everything, this is an excellent unit. Very, very, very good. Uh, what I love about it is it has a YouTube client now, which is great, and it also supports the LT model. I thought I had to get the Roku One for that or I had to find other private channels for it. But the biggest thing I love about this device is it's so quick to switch on. Honestly, this only takes 27 seconds. Um, my Talk Talk Freeview box takes forever to switch on, even for the Freeview part that you only want to use, and that can be a big tall order for it. But this thing is very quick, very easy. It even has HDMI for the price, and it's fantastic. Um, other things I would go for is the fact that it is 
lightweight as well. It's absolutely light. I mean, look at to compare it to my hand. My hand is big. That's how big the device is. It's absolutely small, sleek, lovely. I love it to bits. You know, it's fantastic. And I love how it's got HDMI on it as well, which is another great feature. People say it's a little bit more sluggish than the uh, Roku One. I haven't seen much sluggish uh, uh, activity coming out of this. Um, the only time it's gone wrong, actually, I think it was a couple of days ago, but that wasn't a big issue, in my opinion, because I knew it was cheap, and it, you know, being cheap, it has a few designer faults, obviously, because you're paying less. But uh, yeah, it was easy. You could just turn turn it on at the wall and put your Wi-Fi in, use a computer, immediately have your channels running in seconds. I've got Netflix on it now, um, I've got YouTube app on it, I've got Facebook app on it even though I don't use it and you know it's just very entertaining. Better than DVDs I've got to say because with a Netflix account it's only 8 quid and for what you pay for DVDs it's quite a lot of money or even Blu-rays which are like 12 quid for each disc. So this is very cheap to keep running if you want to watch uh, like Netflix vid uh, movies and that. And you can also get free movies off this. This is how good this is. So yeah, I'll give it five stars. It's a fantastic unit. Much quicker than the talk to box I've got downstairs any day. And if it was my choice, I would get the Roku one for downstairs if I had a HDMI telly. And if I had a HDMI telly upstairs, which I'm gonna get, I would get this device too. It's excellent. I mean, it's just excellent for the price. Honestly, if you've got like near 40 quid on you, get it. Honestly, it's the best money you can ever spend on the device, I reckon. Especially with a HDMI port on it. Fantastic. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you.